So when Queen Naja released her video apologizing to Ari, a lot of people had a lot of things to say. Stop pausing and read so you can see what people had to say. But Queen responded back, you're damn if you do, you're damn if you don't, might as well do you. People will sit and tune into the drama but ignore or talk crap about anything positive happening for others. Leave the pettiness in 2019 honestly is getting old and I'm getting old. I got kids to feed and money to make. I don't have time to not like people and dwell on the past. If you find negativity in people uplifting and being being friendly with one another you might as well paint yourself green because you're a whole grinch in my opinion i don't see queen doing that video as negative i feel like the video was basically saying well, listen guys we don't have no beef we talked about this multiple times behind the scenes Ari reached out to queen for her birthday queen reached out to her for new year's so they've been talking behind the scenes they were just bringing it to light so everybody know like listen we're good we're on good terms we don't have no beef with each other because if we went to put out a video then everybody would have been speculating like oh well she still has a problem with airy she doesn't agree with what Ari has to say you know it would have still been some type of negativity so both of them coming forward and saying that they don't have no beef was something positive everybody don't feel that way obviously take the poll popping up do you think we should have responded back to Ari? a lot of people were saying that queen naja shouldn't be wasting her time with youtube drama she should be focused on her album which she recently did speak on the album the timestamp is down below pinned in the comments i think i'm gonna travel this weekend then once i get back y'all i am locking back in Yes, I'm locking back in the studio. Just having positive vibes. I mean, it was really supposed to be like that 2019 too, but I think 2019, I was like more, I was like chilling a little bit. Yeah, I was basically chilling, but I'm ready to work, work, work. I'm ready to work, work, work this year. I'm excited. As soon as I go take care of what I need to take care of this weekend. After that, it's a wrap, y'all. Yeah, 2019, it wasn't like a bad year, but like it was... It was, it was a, it was just a, a low year. I have this uh, email that y'all can send some beats to if y'all want. Anybody who makes beats, um, I think it's beats at spicymanagement.com. Y'all can send it there, beats at spicymanagement.com. And I'm just like sitting there with my speaker and the mood lights. And I'm like just get in the zone and like just start writing. Yeah, when you when you like listen to when you on social media, it's tough because like you listening to everyone else's opinions like from everywhere. Do this, do that. No, do this, do that, do that. That's not healthy. It's really not. Like when you see it, like you just like that's why when I get back into lock in, y'all. I think I'm gonna do like a little social media blackout. I've already cut Twitter off, which is good. Actually, that's been amazing. That's one thing I can say. Um, yes, you, you're right. You don't have to listen to everyone's opinion, but seeing it, um, Seeing it could like, yeah, it could mentally drive you insane. You don't have to see it. So I just need to clear everything, clear my head, clear everything. So I could really get in that workspace and just get in my zone. Yes. Social media blackout. Yes. You see what I mean? Like it'd be so much to worry about. Like I got to worry about this finishing design of my house, finishing this album, freaking keeping my kids in school i'm trying to find a church home i'm trying to keep doing my youtube videos i'm trying to get a new it's just like it'd be so much content and then still traveling to to be in um to be in situations where i can network like yo i just want to encourage anybody who's having like a rough time uh, finding not finding your purpose, but just get back to your purpose. I'm just. I'm just here to let y'all know I'm going through the same thing. So don't feel alone. Now this goes back to what I said when I said YouTubers shouldn't sign to a label. It's too much pressure trying to please people. When you stay independent, you move the way you want based on how you feel. But Queen said that she's taking a social media break and she's locking herself into the studios to make new music, which I was under the impression that she already recorded 15 songs. How many songs? Should I tell them how many songs on the album? Tell them to guess. Guess how many songs on the album, y'all? First person to get it right. First person to get it right, I'll, I'll say the number. <laughs> if, if I see it, I'll say it. Oh, 15. 
Dang. Somebody said 15. What you will hear from my album is like real legit R&B vibes. You get what I'm saying? Not no. that fake phony. No. Not that fake you can't phony. Can't eat that. Trendy, not fake phony. Sorry, you guys. Bloop, bloop. Forget I said it. Trendy, mm-hmm. not fake and phony. Mm-hmm. But the real, the real stuff, not the trendy, trendy. Well, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna do it. But not the trendy trap kind of R&B. Well, maybe, maybe a couple songs, a couple songs. But like, the album gonna have some real good R&B vibes on there. And I feel like that's what the world was like me, you know what I mean? And she. <laughs> But now she's re-recording songs and she's making new music. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see how this thing play out. My only advice is, Queen, do not put a date on anything. Don't tell people when the album is coming out because we've heard three different dates. It was supposed to be the beginning of fall. Then it was supposed to be the end of the year. Then it was supposed to be the top of the year. I think you might have to pull a Beyonce move and just drop the album when we just wake up in the morning and be like, oh, okay, there's an album. And along with the album, I hope she released the EP because there's a Leah song that she remade that she killed, okay? Hey, she shouldn't have had us hear that. <laughs> she shouldn't. I'm telling you. Because that song alone, I was like, it got me hyped for the album. But it's not on the album because she didn't get it cleared. But if she come out with an EP, she can perform it while she's on tour. You know what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this thing? Okay. And I just remember something. She also ran into Summer Walker and Wale at the BT Awards. So who knows? She might do a collaboration to add them onto the album. So we might be getting something extra that we didn't even expect on the album. So I guess the wait is worth it. Now, real quick before I go on to the next topic because i see that a lot of people didn't see what ty wrote to queen she said love you girl we just had a whole lot of miscommunication but it's all good and did she tag queen i'm pretty sure daisha actually talked to queen directly because queen and daisha have more of a close connection than ty ty already said that she's not that close to queen so that's why she put her response publicly and i'm pretty sure daisha hit her up privately just wanted to throw that in there because a lot of people were saying that ty didn't respond to queen yes she did i'm supposed to be doing one with be love do that shit. Yeah, with Jayway. That's not. That's not do go good numbers. DMs. Why do I like- I'm trying to. We need to plan a trip to LA. I'm trying to link with Pontiac. Why are you playing Why you know you not you know like him? No, I didn't say that. I'm just saying. Oh my god. What? First of all, I hate LA. Mm. Then you want to see his big head ass. <laughs> But yeah, to collab, maybe collab. But he wanted to talk about this. Remember I told you on the phone. So I was like, he's like this type of person about it. Oh. Mm hmm. Ooh. She can't get me. I think you should. Bye. I think you should do it. What? What? We, what y'all talk about? I think it would be. Cool. But it it depends on how much you talk because <laughs> I'm not only lame ass. Oh yeah, but, I discussed that. He was like, he just want to talk in person about it. So I was like, okay. Now let's talk about Kayla Nicole because people are still judging her about gifting her boyfriend a BMW. I don't see nothing wrong with it. But a lot of people are still saying different things about this. So she decided to post up a throwback pic of her and her boyfriend before the money. So she didn't just meet this guy. She been known this guy for a while. They just so happen to reconnect and get back into a relationship, which is cute. Okay, so let's just like time to get off Kayla's back about this situation. Now let's talk about Chris Sale's ex-girlfriend Savvy. She posted to her Instagram that she missed baby CJ, but in one of her lives, she said that she is done with Chris Sales for good. Now I've heard this before, okay? If y'all watched my previous video, she said this before and got back with Chris. So I don't know how 100% sure she is about this. And the fact that she's saying that she missed baby CJ, maybe they end up back together for 2020, who knows? Now let's talk about Miller and Chrissy. Miller was recently seen taking pictures with another young lady and a course According to Miller, they are just friends. But y'all take the poll popping up. Do they look like they're just friends? Because a lot of Chrissy's supporters were very concerned when they saw the pictures. They was like, yo, are y'all still together? What's going on here? Why is she taking pictures with another young lady? Did we break up? You told everybody? <laughs> Did we break up? No, I was playing. No, nigga. 
But a source that's close to them reached out to me and they said their relationship just isn't as solid as everybody thinks. They're making it seem like they're good on camera, but behind the scenes, there's a lot of things that's going on. And Miller has been trying to like kind of distance herself. She's been traveling a lot. She's been hanging out with other people more than Chrissy. And Chrissy's been getting upset about this. She posted up, I don't see how anybody can be with me. Now, I don't know how long this relationship is going to continue being on and off again, but we should see how this play out. I'm going to definitely keep y'all updated. Take the poll popping up. And until next time, peace.